Today's the day where we do this uh, budget cam swap. Um, we're gonna do those heads and we're gonna do the uh, the valve train and we're gonna do all sorts of cool things. So, uh, I'm gonna make a video on it and uh, it's not gonna be a step-by-step, -step, but you know, I'll show you what's going on and what to do and what to probably screw up and that's, that's the fun of it. So, uh, yeah, tag along and uh, we'll get going. <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, as I said, we're gonna do my heads cam swap um, over the next couple days here. Um, it's gonna be tough and it's not gonna be that fun. I'm just kidding, it's always fun. But yeah, I'm trying to gain some more horsepower out of this thing. It's been good, but uh, the 241 heads and uh, the cam is my limiting factor. So, uh, yeah, we'll start ripping stuff apart and uh, we'll show you how, how good we're going with this. I got my handy dandy helper, Morgan, who you remember from the uh, Corvette video, which is doing fantastic, by the way. Thanks for everybody who watches those videos. Um, feedback is sweet. So if you uh, want to see more of that kind of stuff, just uh, leave it in the comments. But uh, yeah, we're going to get started on this. Cool. So the first thing we need to do is disconnect the battery is ease. Battery is ease. We're in metric land now. Wrenches. And this is the equivalent of putting your car on general anesthetic. Bye bye. Steve, wake up. Go to sleep, car. Good night. <laughs> Good night, sweet prince. We'll wake you when it's over. Eight milli. By the time I'm done this, my back is gonna be shot. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Step one. Intake out. That was like step one A. We just connected the battery first. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. This is step one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna let you do the whole thing. Don't even worry about it. Okay. Just watch what we do and. <laughs> Don't ask questions. Yeah, nobody asks questions except unless they're they're not challenging me. Then then go ahead. But if they're challenging questions or like, why did you do it like this? I did it because it's none of your damn business. <laughs> I can hear everybody unsubscribing. <laughs> okay, guys. So far, uh, I got the radiator plastic piece off with the uh, intake. Um, there's four 10 millimeter bolts that get that off. I have the um, radiator drained, and right now I'm working on getting the coil packs off. Um, there's five 10 millimeter bolts on the 99 and up cars. Um, the back one is kind of a bitch to get at, but I used a, uh, a flat wrench. Um, I used a uh, uh, ratcheting 10 mil flat wrench, and uh, I was able to get my hand in there and do the trick. So it is tricky, but it, it can be done. So uh, now I'm gonna go start on the other coil pack. All right, guys, so I got the uh, coil packs off and I also got the valve covers off here. Um, the coil packs were okay to get off. The uh, passenger side is definitely harder than the driver's side. Um, but uh, once you wrestle those off, it's four eight millimeter bolts for the uh, center mount valve covers uh, on the 99 plus cars. And then, uh, and then they come off. There's one tube that comes to the back of the valve cover on the driver's side, and then there's one at the front and one at the back on the passenger side. So you just remove those tubes and then they come right off and everything's cool. Everything looks pretty good on this car. There's no sludge, there's nothing like that. It's nice and clean. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the rocker arms and the uh, push rods, and then uh, we'll start on the front accessory drive. All right, guys. Um, so I got all my rockers and my push rods out. Make sure you want to keep everything in order. Do it in your head or if you want to write it down, that's fine. This is the front of my engine. Driver side, passenger side, and then passenger, driver push rods, and they're all in order. So keep everything in order, just makes it easier. And that way if you find anything wrong with one of the cylinders, you can kind of narrow it down and you can, you can investigate further. And to get those uh, rockers off, there are eight millimeter bolts. Um, in the center there and uh, it takes quite a bit of force to break them break them loose don't be scared of reefing on them but uh, make sure you're seated on the bolt head because if you're not you're gonna strip that bolt head and then then you're up shit creek so um, now that all that is done uh, I'm gonna get onto the accessory drive and uh, start 
taking that apart because all that stuff has to come off the front and then eventually the radiator's got to come out and and then we'll have good access to uh to everything else we need to get to so yeah let's get to it all right guys you can see i got my uh i got my water pump off um fairly straightforward you have to undo uh, your heater lines that go to the car and then there's one uh feed line and one return line and then it's six 10 millimeter bolts um here here and here and then the same on the other side and then the whole thing pulls off so you're gonna make kind of a mess doing this but it's just the way it has to be to get the belt off it's just a 15 millimeter bolt and you pull it back and peel it off of the uh water pump side it seemed to be easiest but uh yeah pretty straightforward we're gonna keep plugging away here and on to the next thing all right guys day two here today on the uh, ls1 build we made some pretty good progress yesterday i did get the front accessory drive off and i got the injectors all disconnected my headers are disconnected from the head which was kind of a pain um the driver's side i'm hoping is going to work properly because see you can see the header this side's dropped below the head bolts so it'll be okay but the other side is going to be kind of a pain because the header won't drop down below the head bolts so i think i'm gonna have to go underneath and wrestle with it a little bit and uh, it should be okay i think i'll get it to work so um yeah so next thing i'm gonna take off the intake and then uh i'm gonna go uh start unbolting the heads i guess and then we'll uh we'll go from there so i had to i did have to get a uh tool to disconnect my fuel line so i gotta do that yet i have to pull the crank pulley and all that stuff but uh you know step by step and uh we'll get it done all right guys i'm gonna cut the video off right there there's still lots more to come probably two or th three more videos something like that let me know if you like this video if you like seeing me do stuff like this be sure to like and subscribe add a comment uh, let me know if you have any questions anything like that and I will get to answering them and I'll release the second one shortly so until then just tag along and watch some of my other videos or something tell your friends maybe I'll inspire you to build an LS1 so catch you next time